getting ready to watch the men's final. And it's a stacked one, Dale. I know we talked about it all day. Every moto wow. had somebody in it. This one, I mean, where do you even start? Well, let's start with lane eight, Connor Fields, junior man. First big final with the big boys. I know he's excited to be up there. He's in a great position, you know. He's got nothing to lose. He just, he just impressed 20,000 people that are out here watching the race. Yeah. And uh, it's great to see Connor come back. Next to him, like I was talking about before, is Tyler Brown, just another, another guy that's just yeah. been digging and digging, and he's in the main event here at Supercross on his home turf. Marcus Bloomfield, UK, lane six. All the guys at the British Championships are uh, shouting and screaming for this one, I'm sure. So that's great to see him. La the winner of the last stop of the Supercross in South Africa, Sam Willoughby, junior rider, just turned elite, just won wow. the Junior Men's World Championship, went straight on to win the Elite Men's Final in South Africa. That's pretty impressive. But he's in lane four, and we're gonna, or lane five, so we're gonna play. Mr. Consistent, Nick Long, two times ABA amateur number one. First year, full year on the Pro Series, and he is legit. He is a main maker, World Championships, UCI World Cup Nationals. Like, yeah, like you said, everybody here is good, but now we're getting down to heavy hitters. Evo Vanderputen, the winner of round number one of the UCI Supercross with Vendor Ice Watch in Copenhagen, Denmark. So he's back here. Next to him, maybe one of the guys to win the time trial the most. Hasn't won as many main events as he would like to, but he wants to try to change that tonight. He came out here, rode this track, the Olympic trials, and killed the crowd, killed the, the competition. And right now, he wants to do that in this main event. But Dale, the guy next to him, like I've been saying all night, unstoppable. So we'll see if that can continue. But it's going to be a good race. It's going to be a good race. So Mars Stromberg, your Olympic champion. Like I said, this is a replica track, 90% replica track of the Olympics. We got that Olympic showdown, and maybe Mike Day can get back. You know, I know it's not the Olympics, but maybe he can come back and go and, and, and make that move what he wanted to do in that second turn. But we've got a few seconds here. This is an incredible main event. The here riders are loaded. Start as orders. Okay, Here we go with the main event from Chula Vista, California. Ready. The, gate. the gate's down. Mike Day and Bloomfield both hit the gate. Stromberg's is going to walk away with this. I'm going to call it now, but Mike Day can come back through. But right now it's going to be Stromberg on the first turn with Sam Wilby behind him. Vander, Vander Putin in third. Connor Fields is making a, jo a, a shot at the going for the podium, but right now it's going to be Stromberg with Sam Willoughby, so we're going to see some great racing on this third All straight. Right. Stromberg, Willoughby making some heat on the inside, on the in second place. Stromberg, Willoughby, Connor Fields coming through to the third, ride of his life for Connor Fields. It's going to be Mary Stromberg, free agent, Connor Fields coming through to second place. Stromberg's free agent first. World champion junior, Sam Willoughby second, and Connor Fields third. Unbelievable ride. Another 34 second lap for Mar Stromberg. And another contingency check for uh, free agent first and third. Gonna make us go bankrupt. So that was a great race by Mar Stromberg. The first supercross he's done this year, so he's got a perfect record for wins. But an impressive ride with Sam Willoughby coming back being consistent again. What happened to Mike Day, Pete? Mike Day hit the gate. I don't know. I know we had. you said some guys were thinking it might be a little bit slow, but Mike Day, maybe he just needed to know he could go out there, but he hit the gate and spun. I mean, he came back for a fifth place. That's pretty impressive with that field, stacked field in the main event. But, I mean, we can't. Stromberg, he just he just took it to those guys. No, he, he, he had a goal himself this weekend. The, I feel that the... The Americans had the pressure on them. I know Mikey did. Everybody's talking about how much they ride here and train here. Maris has not been here. He has not rode an Olympic track of this standard, a UCI World Cup track since the Olympics for, for over a year. So he had a point to prove tonight. And uh, and he did it. He did it. I tried I mean, to keep the pressure off him and uh, remind him that the pressure were on the other guys this weekend. And... Uh, He's proven again with a win, so I'm stoked. Yeah, and, uh, so Maris Stromberg takes the win with a 34.8 second lap. Wow. I mean, that's that's crazy. When we go back to those quarterfinals, the fastest laps were 35-2. Uh, There's a replay right now. So there it is, Maris with in front of Sam Willoughby. Sam was really charging down this second straight. You know, he looked for, for a split second here. They was going to go for the inside, and then I think he kind of decided second still good. 
braked off, went back into the middle and placed into a central into the last turn to come in for second. But uh, see, Connor dived on in there and went for second. It was, uh, and, and that's one of those things we talked about earlier, Dale. Well, maybe Connor doesn't know. He shouldn't have done that, but he did it because he's used to being in the front. He's racing 17 no. experts, 16 yeah. experts. That's and that's, that's, he's always come, you know, if, he's, if he doesn't get the whole shot, he's coming from behind and always winning. He's a consistent rider in that amateur class. But he just said, you know what? I know I've been injured, but I'm ready to make it to the pro class, and here's my entry, top three, I guess, free agent. I guess we're sending Connor to France in a couple weeks. Like I said, Dale, just a super impressive ride. Third place, Connor Fields. Oh, totally. Yeah, I, I think I've said everything I can say, but I'm uh, totally stoked for him. I know he's stoked. I know uh, his dad Mike's down there. Not only, not only is he a great racer, he's a really, really nice kid, and he's really appreciative, and he's got some great parents. You know, his, yeah, dad, does, yeah. his dad's one of the nicest BMX dads I've ever met. He's very informative. He goes online a lot and chats about things and lets people know things. But very nice guy. Sam Willoughby, another awesome ride. What a year for Sam Willoughby. Only gets better. Yeah, that's just awesome to see those juniors up there. We got two juniors on the end, but in the middle, it's that experience and determination of, of he called himself a veteran at 22. I'm kind of shocked on that one. But uh, there he is, Mara Strongberg's free agent, Olympic champion on top of the podium once again with that surfboard. I really like that surfboard. Well, you know, as a TM, you might have to confiscate it. <laughs> In my cut. <laughs> but uh, but there, there, there's your men's uh, podium finish. Morris Strongberg, Sam Willoughby, and Connor Fields. Just an awesome day for the juniors. But again, the experience and the, uh, the track knowledge of the Olympic champion comes out on top. You know, a little... Not really an upset. I mean, Mike Day was it was it was, was going to be a great battle to see those two guys go against each other, but unfortunately, Mike Day hit the gate. The but I still think uh, plane's flowing. Yeah, Connor doesn't even shouldn't even be drinking champagne. Yeah, he, he better have his mouth shut. He's a little young. <laughs> yeah. I think Sam as well. Oh, but I think that's app they both got They're apple allowed. cider. Yeah, they exactly. both got apple cider, and, and Mar Maris is having a, having a oh, champagne Maris likes shower. A drink. He has no problem in having a drink. <laughs> But that's just an awesome day here of BMX racing, presented to you by Swatch, live from Chula Vista, California. Ladies just an awesome night of BMX, and like I said, I want to thank thank Dale Holmes for his uh, his thank color you, Pete. commentary. Thanks for having tonight. me. Hopefully, you'll have me again. It was an awesome night. We're gonna have uh, probably a few more minutes of the feed, but just want to thank all the fans for coming in, watching, tuning in.